Hi there, my name is Adrian Walter and I serve as the Director of Next Gen Ministries at Calvary. Today, I wanna to talk to you about something that often gets overlooked, the importance of parents and caregivers taking care of themselves. As parents, it's easy to get caught up in the endless demands of raising children, feeding, nurturing, teaching, and guiding them. But sometimes in the hustle of taking care of our families, we forget to take care of ourselves. Yet caring for ourselves isn't selfish, it's actually an essential part of being the kind of parent and caregiver God calls us to be. In 1 Corinthians 6, 19 through 20, we are reminded that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit. Therefore, honor God with your bodies. God has entrusted us with our bodies, and that includes our mental, emotional, and spiritual health. When we neglect ourselves, whether that's by burning out, constantly feeling stressed, or not taking time for rest, it becomes difficult to serve our families well. Just as Jesus took time to withdraw and pray, we too need moments of refreshment and renewal to be the best parents and caregivers we can be. One thing we have to remember is that we can't pour from an empty cup. When we're running on empty, we, as parents and caregivers, we parent from a place of exhaustion, which can lead to frustration, impatience, and stress. However, when we take time to recharge, whether through prayer, rest, or simply doing things we enjoy, we are able to give our children the love, attention, and energy they deserve. Even Jesus said in Matthew, Come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. God offers us rest and strength, but we must be intentional about it. Just hoping is not a strategy. Taking care of yourself also sets an example for your children. They are watching how we handle stress and balance our life. When they see us prioritizing our relationship with God, resting, managing our well-being, they learn the importance of these things. In fact, Mark says, love your neighbor as yourself. To love our children well, we also need to show that same love and care to ourselves. We teach them that self-care is not neglecting responsibilities, but preparing ourselves to serve others better. Lastly, we need to remember that we're not parenting alone. Sometimes we carry the weight of every worry and responsibility, trying to do everything on our own. But God invites us to cast our cares on him because he cares for us. Trusting God with our burdens frees us to find peace and rest in him. We don't have to do it all. In fact, we're not supposed to. Our strength comes from leaning on God's grace and wisdom daily. Taking care of yourself as a parent is not a luxury, it's a necessity. When we care for ourselves, our health, our rest in God, we care for our mental and physical being. We are then better equipped to love, lead, and nurture our families. So take the time to recharge, seek God's peace, and trust that by caring for yourself, you're also caring for those you love the most.